Hello, in this video I'm going to show you an operating system called Zorn OS 6. Zorn OS 6 is based on Linux Ubuntu and is meant to make it easier for Windows users to make the transition over to Linux. It contains a feature that lets you change the desktop to look and act like Windows 7, Windows XP, and Linux GNOME 2. And with the premium version you can also change the look and feel to Windows Vista, Linux Ubuntu Unity, and Mac OS 10. And I'm going to show you where to get the ISO for Zorn OS. So I'm going to open a web browser. And in the search box, I'm going to type Zorn OS. I'm going to click on the home Zorn OS link. Oh, and they've moved. So now I'm going to click on the please click here to go to our new website. This is the home page here. And if I scroll down, it gives a brief description of some of the key features of Zorn OS. It says Zorn OS is a multifunctional operating system designed specifically for Windows users who want to have easy and smooth access to Linux. It's based on Linux Ubuntu, which is the most popular Linux operating system. Zorn OS features a unique look changer program. It allows users to change the user interface at the touch of a button, and you can change the interface to look and feel like Windows 7. Windows XP, Linux Ubuntu GNOME 2, and with premium versions you can also change the look and feel to Mac OS 10. And you can also run Windows programs with the help of Wine and Play on Linux. And next I'm going to click on the Take the Tour button real quick. This tells you some of the main advantages of Zorin OS. This one I don't agree with. I would rather say there's low risk of getting viruses instead of no risk of getting viruses. Zorin OS is much faster than Windows 7. It's an easy to use and familiar desktop. It has a customizable user interface thanks to Look Changer. It's stable and is based on the robust Linux operating system. It has all the software you'll ever need out of the box. It has extremely versatile and customizable open source software. And it's also available in 55 languages. So what I like about Zorn OS is it has most of the software that you would need already installed, including restricted extras, so all your codecs are already installed. You can start playing games and watching videos right after the installation. And of course there's a ton of software available in the software center. So now I'm going to scroll back up to the top of the page. And I'm going to go to get it and then to free. You want to make sure you download the correct version of the operating system. I'm going to be running Zorn in VirtualBox so I'm going to choose the 32-bit version. I'm going to click on it. Next you need to select a download location and right above the locations it says please select your closest download server for best speed. If it is slow please choose another one from the list below and I'm going to show you this. I'm going to click on every one of these. Okay so I've opened all the download locations and right here you can see this is the first one. This is the US location. It's going to take five hours to download, pretty much six hours. And then when I get into the other countries, I got 37 minutes, 31 minutes, and then another five hours. So what I would start doing right now is I'd start deleting the longer ones. And I'm going to keep this one right here that says 25 minutes. And I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to wait for it to finish downloading. Once it's finished downloading, you're going to want to burn the ISO to disk. If you're not sure how to burn an ISO to disk, please see my video on image burn. It'll help you out. And once the file's finished downloading, I usually save it to the desktop so I know where it is. So I'm going to right click on it and click open containing folder. And here it is here. I'm going to right click on it. And click cut and then go to the desktop and then I'm going to click paste and now my image is on the desktop so then I can just open my burner select it right from the desktop and burn it and now if you notice on my desktop I have a new background here I wanted to show you this before we actually begin installing the operating system when you put the disk in and it first boots up you're going to get this screen when you have this screen, you only have 10 seconds to make a decision. To boot the live system, 
to boot live in safe graphics mode. Start the installer directly, run memtest, and boot from the first hard disk. And you want to select to start the installer directly. So it's the third one down when it begins. And again, you only have 10 seconds to make that decision. And I actually have my operating system installed in VirtualBox right now. But I'm going to go through the whole steps of installing Zorin. So I'm going to reset the virtual machine. Here's where you have 10 seconds to make the decision. And then we go through the typical installation steps. So I'm going to leave the language set at English and I'm going to click continue. And it says my computer is ready for the installation so I'm going to click continue. I'm going to leave the circle tick to erase disk and install Zorin. And I'm going to click continue. Just click install now. Choose the best location for your time zone and then select your keyboard layout. First you have to give your name. And then you have to name the computer, and I'm going to name the computer Zorin 2. You then have to pick a username, and I'm going to leave it as learning to compute. You have to create a password. I'm just going to make mine short for the video. And then you can select to have the operating system log in automatically or require a password to log in. And you can also encrypt your home folder. And I'm going to click continue. And now it's going to begin a short little tour of the operating system. So I'm going to pause it while it's installing here. And once the installation is complete, you need to restart your computer, so I'm going to click Restart now. During the restart, it's going to ask you to remove the installation media and close the tray. So you'll want to remove your DVD, close the tray, and then press Enter. Next, you want to hit Enter again. Now as always, you need credentials to log in, so I'm going to type in my password. And this is the desktop environment here. And I'm going to come down to the Z and click on it. And this is the GNOME menu. Next I'm going to go to System Tools and then to Zorin Look Changer. This is where you could change the desktop appearance to Windows 7, Windows XP, or Linux Ubuntu GNOME 2. Right now it's set to Windows 7, so I'm going to click on Windows XP. It says it's been changed successfully. And if I click on the menu, see it has kind of a Windows XP feel to it. Now I'm going to click on GNOME 2. And now it has the Linux Ubuntu feel before Unity. And I'm going to change it back to Windows 7. And now this has more of a Windows 7 kind of feel. And it's easy to navigate. Here's your home folder, your documents, your pictures, music. So everything is very easy to get to. Instead of control panel, you have system settings, which gives you all the different features to configure your operating system. This is also a good operating system to use when your Windows operating system becomes obsolete. It's affordable, it's free, and it's easy to use. My upcoming videos will be on what you can do after installation of Zorin OS 6. So make sure to watch those. Those will help you out a little bit also. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.